Patty Gaz and Dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond, and today is Keto Diary, day 1105. Uh, I've been doing keto for a minute, huh? Just a hot minute. Speaking of hot, whew, been a day. Um, sorry if the AC's loud, but y'all know it's got to be cranking. We're in the south in the summer. It's got to be on. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday, my macros. I'll be right back with a chit-chat, a weigh-in, and Lord, y'all. I stepped in it yesterday. I don't even know what it was, but I stepped in it. You'll understand in just a minute. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. Woohoo! It's time to rant, rave, and there's going to be some misbehaving Keto Diamond style. accidentally broke my fast this morning with half a hot dog weenie. My dad um, had fried some weenies for breakfast. He wanted me to fix his cell phone. I was sitting down there at his table and I just grabbed that half a fried hot dog weenie and I ate it and I was like, this is just a regular weenie, right? So there's no telling what was in that, but that's what I broke my fast with like an hour ago. I finally got his cell phone straightened out, if many of y'all know how Asian parents and cell phones can be. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Uh, I came down home, down back to the house. I'm having two sausage patties, three scrambled eggs with two pieces of cheese with some organic ketchup because I'm going to try to wait to make my next meal as late as possible. So I'm having a great big breakfast now and over here in a cup I also have some Diet Cherry Dr. Pepper. Double ham and cheese sandwich. Two mayonnaises. <laughs> no. Two slices of cheese, four slices of ham. This is my calories and macros for all of that per my fitness pal website. So you see hey. it's not a calorie issue. Hold on, I'll show them to you. Hi. Oh, no, they're saying hi. Um, uh, 1,210 calories, 30 grams of total carbohydrate, 100 grams of fat, 70 grams of protein. What Hello. are you doing? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, dirty baby? He's always dirty. Huh? He gets in everything. Huh? Hey. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah. I'll show you what the third one's doing. She's being sweet on daddy. Somebody's demanding attention. Is it me? <laughs> nope, it's the one with the head blocking you. Wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. My birthday is tomorrow. Wait, wait, wait. Happy birthday. Wait, hello. Hello. <laughs> wait, look how many poops. Look how many tubes I lost. That's adorable. <laughs> Grandma needs a nap. All right, you guys seem to like what I like me showing what I eat, so I'm just gonna show it. So, okay. If anything could have gave me issues yesterday, it would have been two of those sausage patties at one time. I've wondered about that for a while. I seem to do great if I just have one sausage patty, but two seems to be overkill. And I did overkill breakfast because I was trying to not eat again until really late, and I did that. So my day of eating yesterday, other than potentially the two sausage patties, was wonderful. Today's rant, rave, and misbehave is going to be talking about the other three things that I did. Apparently, I decided to cook me some bad karma up somewhere. Got some bad juju or something because yesterday, a little bit after I talked to y'all, got a little bit hairy, a little bit wild, a little bit ridiculous. I got basically three injuries yesterday that did affect my weigh-in. Two of them definitely did, physically, noticeably so and i'm going to tell you about those real fast and we'll do the weigh-in <laughs> all right so two of these is what two of these is what you might call tmi too much information for some of y'all folks all right we'll start with the one that's not too much information one of our porch steps is a little shorter than the other because a little piece of wood chipped off and normally i'm very conscious of that and i stay to the outside of that set of steps it's just a little bit shorter, but it's tripped me up more than a few times, so I've learned to stay on the outside. I forgot last night. Walked right on down the import steps, slipped right off that little piece of wood that's missing. And that ankle was fine, but the one that landed on the ground sideways, not so much. And I'm driving with it now, so thankfully it's not bothering me too much, but it's definitely noticeably swollen on both the side of my ankle and the top of my foot. It's not really hurting again unless I turn my foot a certain kind of way. That car's way on out, Chandra. We're going to wait for it. Ain't nobody behind us. We're on one of these backcountry roads. All right, so that's the one injury that is not TMI. The next injury did not cause any water weight, or I'm pretty sure, certain it didn't. It's just a stupid mistake that I should have known better, which 
I do this quite frequently, to be honest with you. Um, apparently, there's something in Dove that I can't use on my body. Only one particular area seems to have a problem with that. One. How do I? Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> where my nephew, little Johnny, and yes, we're a redneck family with a little Johnny in the family. Uh, and he is that type of person, just like in the little Johnny jokes. Well, anyway, <laughs> he's about 35, 36 now. But when he was about five or six, we was changing his baby sister, and he just offered up the words, boys have a tallywhacker, girls have a scratch. Well, using that analogy, the places in between my scratch are very, very sensitive to Dove body wash or Dove products. So the first time was a Dove body bar. It set me on fire in there like a chemical burn, and almost instantly, it took two or three seconds for me to notice, I was like, what in the world? And it was hard to, you know, deal with for two or three days. Well, I forgot, and I bought some Dove body wash um, and used it last night. Oh, boy. Needless to say, I ain't happy down there, and it's definitely like a chemical burn, so it, it's very irritating and very irritated, and very annoying and I do have some cream there uh, now the other one that did definitely affect my weight and it was noticeably doing so was um, <laughs> so a little while after I talked to you yesterday I had the sudden urge to go poo but not the ability after sitting in the bathroom two or three different times for 20 minutes each and nothing happening I decided to take a softener about a couple hours later, I had an extreme urge to go poo and steal no ability. And this morning when I woke up, it looked like I had swallowed a football. My belly was so far out there. Now, it has alleviated itself since, but hours after I weighed in. So let's go ahead and get to the weigh-in and I'll show you the damage being stupid can do. <laughs> I feel like I weigh 100 pounds more than I usually do. So we'll just have to see what this is. Ankle. 162.6. Like, can you see my ankle swollen? My foot. Luckily, tomorrow's weigh in should be much, much better. I'm already feeling a ton better from both my ankle and my belly. The other thing, not so much. But it is what it is, and I can't. I mean, I just, like I said, I, I walked right into some bad juju yesterday or something. I'm not real, real sure <laughs> what I did. I, I, I pissed somebody off. I don't know. Maybe they cursed me. Um, but it, today is much, much better. Um, Saturday's not going to be, but I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, it's, it's, <laughs> it's annoying. It's 1.8 pounds up. It's not nothing severe or crazy, and I'll be fine, but... It's slightly annoying. When you're on a weigh-in journey and you're weighing in every single day and silly things like that can infect, affect, affect you and cause a problem for you, it's annoying. It's like, okay, I said I didn't care if I, you know, stayed right in the weight in the same weight range, but at the same time, I really don't want to go up and I certainly don't want to do it because I can't poop or because I fall on my butt. I did hurt my butt too. I don't know if it's bruised or swollen or nothing, but I hurt that too. Because you know how you fall on the steps, your butt always lands on the corner of the stair for some reason. Always. Can't hit this right perfect. You got to hit the corner somewhere or another. It's annoying. Alright, so I'm going to run in here to this Dollar General and we going to get Barb O's ring sent out to her. But I need a um, something to, to package it in and get it to her and run up to the post office. I'll be right back, y'all. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to get the label and everything on it. All right, Barbo, your ring is on the way to you, darling. They said it should be there Monday, but they're experiencing some slowdowns. So go ahead and conserv conservatively say between Monday and Wednesday. I talked to the postmaster in here. He said that uh, they are, because of COVID, they're experiencing an influx of packages something like what they experience around Christmas time only during Christmas time they're able to hire help extra help to move those packages so everything is a lot slower now 
it should still be there to you. I'll send you the tracking number through your Facebook. Um, I was asked a question, or a couple questions actually, but I just forgot what they were even though I knew what I was going to talk about. Oh, okay. So two things. One is a problem for a lot of people. They do great all day long, but at night when they get settled down and they get to watching some TV, they get snacky and a lot of them cheat. Um, that's when they fall off the wagon. They'll do great all day and then at night, not so much. So I know that some keto snacks are very, very expensive, but a good suggestion is to find a lot of keto snacks that you like and hide everything else. If it ain't keto, it don't need to be in your, your line of sight if you can do it. It's difficult, I know that. I live with a family full of nine keto people. Sometimes it's hard for me. But keto snacks, keep a ton of them around. If pork rinds and salsa or um, some of those keto chips, I know, like I said, some of these things are crazy expensive, but they do work and they do help. So find something that works and helps. But you can also start eating your biggest meal later in the day. Now, I know some people say they shouldn't eat after 8.30, so make it 8.30. If you need to do that, if you need to wait till later in the day, make your last meal the biggest meal. That way you're not hungry when you're chilling out watching TV. Do that. Eat as much as you need to get full and try not to be triggered. That's, that's about the best thing you can do for that late night snacky eaty thing. And keep snacks around that you kind of sort of like, but they're not your favorite because you'll still eat them, but you're probably not going to eat as many of them. That might help. And another one, um, I was asked about eczema and can eating clean keto help more with eczema? Eczema, psoriasis, uh, uh, autoimmune disease, clean keto is going to be your best option. I hope that air conditioner is not too loud. It's hot, hot. But clean keto is going to be your very, very best option because certain things cause those flare-ups, right? I mean, for some people, it's, it's dairy of any sort. For some people, it's nightshades like tomatoes, uh, peppers, tamales, um, any and all tomatoes, peppers, tamales, um, all peppers, even paprika can cause a flare-up, eggplants, there are several things on that. Look up nightshades, it'll tell you all about it right there on Google, but if you can avoid those things, and for some people, onions too. Onions, while they're not a nightshade, can kind of act up in the body like a nightshade can, and for me personally, Onions do seem to always add water weight, even though I love them. Some fried onions on top of a steak, that is so good, but it does cause certain flare-ups for me. So, you do have to kind of be careful with those, especially if you have any kind of autoimmune. Look for, look it up. Look, look up foods to avoid with autoimmune and avoid those foods as best you can. Now, I, I do know that nightshades are on the top of the list. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair because it's soft today. <laughs> I can't avoid it. It's already been a super long day, y'all. I mean, crazy long. I got up this morning, me and my grandbaby Zach got dressed, got ready, got in the van, rode up, met my, well, we went and got gas, then we got food, then we met hubby for lunch. Then we went and got groceries, brought them home, put them away, played with all three of my grandbabies for a little bit, and said, you know what? I gotta go get that ring sent out. So everything is pretty much done, thankfully. I will have a grocery haul video for you this week. One thing I hate about grocery haul videos, though, is you can spend $100 and have a 30-second video. I got this, 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 and this, and it cost me a fortune. <laughs> but it is what it is, so I will be doing a grocery haul video probably Friday. I'll probably get that up Friday because I do know I, there's a few more things I need that I couldn't find today, so there will be more. And I found some products I hadn't had in a while that I remembered... And somebody brought them up the other day. I was like, I'm going to look and see if they still had that. I forgot. I haven't had one of those in forever. So, it helps to record some of the foods I eat because I forget I like them and forget to buy them. And then forget they exist. So, you know. <sighs> but anyway, guys. Um, it's been a good day. Uh, now, yesterday, not so much. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that bad mojo thing is a real thing. I just don't know what I did to deserve it. But, <laughs> anyway. Um... If you need my help, I help everybody across the board, no matter what, do keto for free. I don't care. If you need help, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I love doing it. It makes me feel good, and it's very helpful to quite a few people. I help a lot of people every day, and I love it. So don't hesitate to ask me. I might be slow on some days if we're out exploring or something, but when I get home, when I get to my computer, I will reply, and I will help you. 
So my email address is diamondbbw at gmail.com. It's listed in the top of the description section below. Um, right under the video, there's a thing where we were all, all YouTubers write some junk out, and it's right there. There's also great ways to support the channel and help me out. There is uh, products you don't need, but you might want. You might as well save a dollar on them. Um, and that's pretty much all I got for you today. So anyway, guys and dolls, we're going to do some more lives and some more giveaways. So stick around. If you're new to me, subscribe. If you're old to me, like, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Much love to you. Bye, y'all.